this is our chicken coop. Uh, we did run power to it for heated waters. House is way up there, so that's the trench anyway. Uh, but everything mainly runs off of two solar panels, 100 watt and a 25 watt. So we've got that run underground with the electrical to the coop. Um, runs to the controller and then the controller runs to we've got a 115 amp battery in there and then there's power wires that run underneath uh, they go in through this little conduit we made into the coop all waterproof and draft proof and these are the timers for the automatic door it's quite a cluster but the up the down um, this is actually what we call their free run which is just a huge area that uh, it's not predator proof but uh, we don't let them free range unless we're around and this gives them a lot more space so they've got a little steel door there the guillotine door um, we put the plastic over it for the winter, the roofing stuff, put a couple of vents front and back, help with, uh, draft and blowing snow and all that stuff. Um, these are our nesting boxes. We only get two because we did a lot of research online and people make lots and they all just use a couple anyway. So the coop's all insulated. So there's two boxes, just exactly like that. Uh, and that's so we can grab the eggs without having to go in the coop. But some of them are laying random places, so. And then, so inside, we've got a couple of lights. Hello, ladies! So we've got a red light that stays on all the time. And then we've got a clear LED that, uh is on for a few hours in the morning and then in the evening and probably in the winter I'll just leave it on all day. We've got one vent there and two vents up there that can open and close and then we've got, I don't know if you can see, one in the top left hand corner and one in the bottom right. I closed the bottom right hand ones for the winter because it was kind of head level but it's good for them uh, in the summer. We built our own automatic door. You can kind of see it in the background there. Just use a linear actuator off of uh, Amazon and those timers outside. Then we have a timer here for the interior light. And I also put in a, uh, it's like a tractor light or ATV light. And that's uh, if we need something to happen or need to clean or whatever. Um, so, rigging up a different water for the winter. I want them to have water inside. Have a little PVC feeder there for their food and for their grit and for their oyster shells because you girls started laying this week last week good girls they're all roosted up um and we have a rain barrel here that we used with five cup feeders and uh they were in there but we've taken them out for the winter i also put on uh auxiliary tap there so I can fill up their individual waters Put a kind of a tool section on the back here and that's their PVC feeders and there's a one for grit and these three are for food so we can fill them from the outside. This is one of those vents. There's two on the other side so we can open those up, close them depending on what the weather's like. This is our first year with chicken so we don't know what we're doing. Um, and we put, uh, let's get a uh, roofing. But it's also the whole outside is enclosed for the winter. There's another vent on the back. That roofing material, because who wants to shovel snow in a coop? I barely want to shovel snow. Anyway, so this is inside. This is what we call their secure run. The outside's the free run. Um, so, yeah, it's just some driftwood, the swing, treat balls some perches 
Uh, and then I really like the elevated coupe because we use that extra space to our advantage. The coupe's super easy to clean. Pull a wheelbarrow up to the door and go. So those are their feeders and that's the uh, outside heated water I'm going to try for the winter. We broke down like I said, or if I didn't say, but we broke down and buried some uh, get power run down here. So we got a couple of plugs up there and uh, I just travel a lot for work. So I don't want anyone else to have to deal with uh, frozen water. Put a couple of gutters in for scratch and stuff and those uh they like those they work well i mean they're still they're birds they're messy but um and that's the 18 door there just slides up latches they can go outside all day and if we're gonna be away or whatever so then i also have and we put uh we got a thermal pane window in there lap of luxury this is another timer. This is for their outside lights. So I've got one underneath here that lights up underneath the run. And then I've got two out here that light this up. So this comes on at like quarter to six. I like them getting up at the same time. They're up anyway at like five o'clock in the morning. So at least this way they can come out and uh, do the thing. So in here we put... Uh, Part platform, part roost, but the platform could come out at any time, turn into a roost. Because um, we have some silkies and they like to sleep on the floor, so didn't want them getting pooped on. Um, yeah, so I think that's uh, about it. That's our interpretation of a chicken coop. First year with chickens and had no idea what we were doing, but YouTube was a really useful... Uh, useful thing and so that's where we get a lot of our ideas and we just took the ones we like the best and the chickens seem happy anyway hey thor and then we just put a little box in there yesterday for the babies because they're like hiding from the hens but anyway say hi buster cool